in epilepsy research, the standard models are animals. We have been funded by the NC3Rs to develop alternative non-animal models for epilepsy research. This is uh, identifying new compounds to stop seizures and understanding how epilepsy actually occurs. So our uh, impact on this field is firstly to convince the rest of the scientific world that we can use alternative non-animal models for our research and secondly to make the discoveries that will improve world health. In collaboration with Matthew Walker who's the Head of Experimental and Clinical Epilepsy at UCL we've been looking to define how valproic acid works in the cell to then develop better epilepsy treatments. So we've found a molecular mechanism, a target uh, signaling pathway in a cell and we've used that to identify compounds which are more potent at that effect and having identified that, having screened 100 over 100 compounds we've found some chemicals that are much more potent in our amoeba model and we've shown also that those are more potent in traditional animal models of seizures so we think we've developed better seizure treatments the standard approach for epilepsy drug development is to use two different animal models uh, for one compound. Each compound will be tested at potentially five different concentrations and if we say between five and eight animals are used per compound per dose with controls we're talking potentially a hundred animals per compound. Now we've looked at over a hundred compounds for seizure control so we've potentially saved thousands and thousands of animals' lives. Now this has been very successful. We've made some fantastic breakthroughs. What we hope this research will show is firstly to the world research community that we can use non-animal models for advantageous uh, breakthrough research in biomedical sciences. In addition, we've actually found a new family of ultra-potent anti-epileptics with the potential for reduced side effects, which we hope will help world health.